Hi students, welcome to physics classes. Now we are discussing important four more questions from lesson last half motion junior inter physics. Now the question is define the terms momentum and impulse and state and explain law of conservation of momentum. Give example. Now define the terms momentum and impulse. Now the momentum, momentum is the product of mass and velocity of a body product of mass and velocity of a body is called its momentum is called its momentum momentum is equal to momentum is denoted by letter p equal to mass into velocity p equal to m into v next impulse impulse is the product of Average force during the impact. Average force during the impact of a body and the time of impact. Force during the impact and the time of impact is called impulse. Impulse can be denoted with either I or J. I equal to average force into change in time or J equal to average force into time. Next one, law of conservation of Momentum. Next one is law of conservation of momentum. Now law of conservation of momentum means cons momentum of the body is conserved. See here. When there is no external force acts on your body. When there is no external force acts on your body. Total momentum before collision. Total momentum before collision is equal to total momentum after collision. Total momentum before collision equal to total momentum after collision. Now we will see this. Now for example, A and B, two bodies of masses M1, M2 are moving with velocity U1 and U2. Now U1 is greater than U2, then both gets collision. Both gets collision. Now after collision, their masses are constant but velocities are changed. So final velocity of A mass M1 is V1 and M2 is V2. M1 is V1, M2 is V2. Initial masses M1, M2, final masses also M1, M2. Initial velocity is U1, U2 but final velocity is V1, V2. Now law of conservation of momentum says total momentum before collision equal to total momentum after collision. Now we will see here. Now, now according to Newton third law, every action has equal and opposite reaction. Every action has equal and opposite reaction. Now here reaction, action means A hits the ball B. So force applied by A on B is equal to force applied by B on A in opposite direction. Now I am writing it is action force applied by A on B equal to change in momentum. So A on B A on B. So force applied by A its initial momentum M1 U1 and final momentum m1 v1 so m1 v1 minus m1 u1 by time of impact is t then it is equal to opposite reaction first we will write reaction force applied by b on a we can write m2 v2 minus m2 u2 by t now we will equate it action equal to opposite reaction so we can write m1 v1 minus m1 u1 by t equal to m2 v2 minus m2 u2 divided by t now both times are equal no so times gets cancel then we can write m1 v1 this m2 v2 minus reaction no so this is minus so minus if goes inside minus m2 
v2 that is coming to opposite side becomes plus m2 v2 equal to here minus into minus becomes plus m2 u2 if minus m1 v1 m1 u1 coming this side plus m1 u1 so this one i am writing first m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 this is the momentum of the first body this is the momentum of second body so this is the total momentum before collision equal to this is the total momentum after collision total momentum before collision equal to total momentum after collision now example for this is motion of a rocket satisfies the law of conservation of momentum motion of rocket now this question is for four marks now we will see how they divide it now for writing definition of momentum one mark writing definition of momentum one mark and the definition of impulse one mark and the law of conservation of momentum two marks okay thank you for watching please subscribe for more updates